everyone, welcome to Brickball, my name is Jack. Today is a Lego Batman movie set review and it's a big one, this is the Arkham Asylum. The set is recommended for ages 12 to 16 and is set number 70912 and it has 1,628 pieces. Included are a whopping 12 minifigures, that is so many and I'm pretty sure most of them are actually exclusive to this big old set. From the back of the box you can see that the Arkham Asylum is made of what looks like three big chunks. That really makes up the structure and there's a guard tower as well as a police car and a few other gizmos and gadgets. Lots of stuff that's going to be happening in this set. And let's check out what is inside the box. All right, so the box is full of a lot of bags, actually. There are 17 bags in total, labeled up to the number eight, so in eight sections we're gonna be building this thing. One big manual, a decent amount of stickers, and um, it's now time to start the build.
All right, so the set is done. We've got some awesome exclusive minifigs, so I'm gonna take a look at these guys first. This is our Arkham Asylum Joker. He's got his red jumpsuit with a little belt that goes around the waist. A lot of nice sort of wrinkles and stuff you can see in the clothing. Arkham is on his back, and actually this is the same torso and leg piece that's used for all of the inmates. They have different colored hands, but Lego, I think, kept it pretty simple by just keeping the bodies the same and changing out the heads and hands. Here are his two expressions and his crazy hair. Very cool minifig. I think uh, that big laughing, smiling face is an exclusive expression just to the set. And our next fig is awesome. This is the first time I've seen Poison Ivy so far in the uh, new Lego Batman movie sets, and that hair piece is amazing. She's got a ton of curls and ringlets and stuff going all around and um, printing that shows leaves that are in her hair as well as an actual mold that shows a flower. Also the print for her face is very nice. It's a little bit simple but you can see the beauty mark and a little bit of green eyeshadow with the uh, orange eyebrows. Next up is Catwoman. She actually has an orange utility belt, strangely enough. I don't know if she sort of was hiding this and then put this on last minute or if the Arkham staff just lets her have a utility belt. I seriously doubt that. But the head is purple and she's got some gigantic cat goggles and they match up pretty well with the mold that goes over her head. Next here is the Riddler. Pretty simple guy. He has that small mask around his eyes. A couple of nice expressions and uh, the hairpiece is kind of cool or the hat and hairpiece is just one mold and I think it looks pretty good actually. I wasn't expecting to like Two-Face so much but uh, Harvey Dent is actually pretty awesome. The mold for the head is probably one of the coolest parts about him. He's got the black slicked back hair on one side and the sort of goopy purpleness on the other. His face is torn away and kind of looks like a skull and he's got two excellent expressions to go along with that. Now here is another exclusive fig to this set. This is Dr. Harleen Quinzel, or Harley Quinn, before she's uh, in her getup. Pretty awesome detailing, though. Probably some of the best in uh, the whole set. She's got dual molded legs that is showing a lab coat that runs down. You can see an ID badge on her legs, a scarf, even a uh, sweater underneath the lab coat. Lots of nice detailing. I like the uh, sort of blonde bun piece that she has. I think that's new. And she comes with a clipboard and some nice expressions. Really good fig. Now we've got another, well, Arkham staff member. This is Aaron cash. If it wasn't for the hook hand, you might mistake him for being just another doctor in Arkham Asylum, but that indeed is not the case. He's got a nice hairpiece and some good expressions. Curious to see how this character unfolds within the movie. Now here's probably one of my favorite figs. Um, I just really like the Barbara Gordon fig. Her hairpiece is so good. She has the twisty ponytail, and I think the color combination is really nice with that sort of lavender, and then the printing that shows a vest and guns sort of strapped around the waist. The badge is attached by a chain on her leg and that's the only print down there. Really good fig. Now moving right along we get two guards for the Arkham Asylum. I appreciate the dark blue with the black printing on there. It's very subtle and uh, I don't know just stylistically I think it looks pretty good. They've got printing on the back. I think the torso pieces are exactly the same but one guy's got the police officer cap and the other one is a female minifig with a ponytail. Now I know I skipped Batman and Robin but that is because they are not exclusive to the set. These are pretty generic uh, versions of the Lego Batman movie. Uh, Batman and Robin figs. Batman coming with his standard printing, the utility belt around his waist, a couple of uh, not so happy expressions. And here is Robin, one with a happy face and a confused face. And he also comes with this big gun. I like that print on the uh, magnifying glass. I think that is a brand new print and it's supposed to look like one gigantic sort of scope or something. Targeting system at least. I have a feeling that is definitely gonna get reused in later sets. But uh, that is it for all 12 of the figs. There's a lot of really cool guys, most of which are exclusive to the set. Really happy with that all around, but let's check out Arkham Asylum because there's some great details to find in here. Now the asylum itself is split into three chunks and they don't actually really connect very solidly. I was a little bit disappointed by this. I was kind of hoping that they would have some solid connections so you could pick up uh, the whole thing as one big chunk, but perhaps they couldn't make enough solid connections so they decided to make it particularly loose. That way you would never accidentally pick up the whole thing thinking they would stay together and the science would break off. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'm gonna show off the middle section first. This is the main entrance to the Arkham Asylum. It's stickers. Pretty much everything here is stickers. There's not a whole lot of uh, custom printing at all. But regardless, it looks pretty good. I really do like the build for the doors. They uh, swing open and that is a statue in the front with the guy holding a snake. Now the tower detailing you're looking at uh, just above is pretty much 
reiterated uh, on the other two sections, at least the parts with the telescope pieces and things like that. That front balcony opens up, but I think the coolest details are definitely, of course, on the inside as always. Now we have a little bit of uh, railing pieces here on the sides, which I like that is made in dark red, which I think is a new color for this mold. And you can see some security cameras on either side. This is repeated as well on the other um, sections of Arkham Asylum. But I think the coolest thing to point out is this security scanner at the bottom below. It's uh, modular, or well, you can just take it out easily. And this is a great example of stickers really uh, doing something positive for a build. We've got a couple of warning signs. I like the no sharp edges or chrome pieces. That was a nice touch on the designers there. But if you can't tell, this is an x-ray scanner. So when you look at it from the side, after you put a minifig in there, you can slide it across and we see a minifigure and it looks like they may have actually found something uh, on the person that they probably shouldn't have had. It's a very easy function. You can get a minifigure out quite nicely. And I like that you can just take the whole thing out of the set and just play with it. Definitely one of the more fun and creative bits of building. And uh, on the second floor, we've got a couple other pieces that you once again can just take out of the set, which I just like a lot. The first one is just a computer with a donut on top of uh, some drawers. And there is a sticker showing lockdown as well as uh, another sticker showing some of the inmate profiles. And then on the other side, we've got a vault. Those are stickers on the vault doors there. And on top, we've got some security tape footage, I'm assuming. And then there's a juice box instead of a donut. But on the inside, there actually is nothing there in the vault. Now that is it for the central section of Arkham Asylum. Let's go off to one of the branches. On each branch, there are two cell inmate well, cells. And the first one holds the Joker. You can see a little sticker showing a Batman with a sort of Joker smiley face written all over it. And the second one has Poison Ivy with a poster of some sort of plant monster. In fact, that actually looks like one of those collectible minifigs. I like the look of the cells. I think that green wall actually kind of really enhances the look, sort of differentiates um, this part of the build. And I think that works pretty well. But this uh, section right here is probably one of the coolest little displays that I uh, is in the entire set. This is the cafeteria or the food for the cafeteria. So you can take this out of the set just like any of the nice little pieces. And honestly, I think the inmates at Arkham Asylum eat pretty well. There's a juice box, a couple of milk cartons. This here is that brand new watermelon slice piece. You get three of them in the set. And then next to the watermelon is some cheese. Then we've got some pretzels and hot dogs. And at the end, we also have a stack of plates and trays for the inmates. I like this section a lot. It is kind of one of my favorite things about the set. Though I have to say, really, you must remember to take this out or handle this section carefully when you're moving the set around because all this stuff is loose, or most of it is. Really cool stuff, though. I, I, I do like this food court quite a bit. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but um, let's go up to this next floor, and this is the visiting cell. But here, if you want, you can actually take the uh, visiting cell wall out if you like. It's not quite as easy to pop off as the other ones, but I think the sand green works very well for this wall. We got a couple of phones there and a window. Window. And this is maybe where uh, Harley Quinzel and the Joker talk. Now, the only other thing to point out is there is a tiny little space to uh, have a guard maybe standing watching over next to um, the prison cells. But really, let's take a look at what this uh, thing looks like on the outside. And really, there's a lot of great details to notice. The section by the cells here is uh, pretty much repeated on the other half, but you can see that uh, Poison Ivy has a little bit of ivy growing on the outside of her prison cell. And this is the design for the sort of spires or something, uh, the, the top of the wall here. And I'm not really a huge fan of uh, the underside of the studs being the main bit of detailing there. But what I do like are the stone corners on the side of the other bit here. I think that fits really well with the whole design of the Arkham Asylum. Asylum. makes the building feel a little bit more stern and sort of daunting and cold. Well, you also notice there is a little bit of snow detailing as well on the sides. All in all, it's actually a very good exterior build. And when I switch over to the second half of the Arkham Asylum, you can see it's pretty much a mirror image of exactly the same build. But of course, when you flip it around, the interior is entirely different. So instead of the cafeteria being down below, we now have a washroom. There are two washers in the back and a little tile sticker piece that uh, shows a drain. Don't really like the way that's set up. It kind of pops up. But I think the sticker detailing that shows the washing powder in the corner is actually pretty good. The two criminal cells down below belong to Two-Face. Uh, you can see the sticker for Harvey Dent. And then that is the Riddler. So that makes the only prisoner minifig in this set without their own cell, Catwoman. Now, the upper area has what I think is sort of an experience 
experimentation lab. I don't know what else to call it. Could be the medical facility. There are a couple of containers with different colored liquid, a computer, and then underneath is what I think is maybe a refrigerator, but it's got some syringes that are lime green. It could be like Bane injection serum. I have no idea. That was a total guess. But other than that, that is, uh, that's the interior of Arkham Asylum through and through. So these are the three pieces. If you put them together, they look pretty daunting. I mean, the whole facility together as one building. I kind of wish there was a way to sort of fold it up and have it as a self-contained build without too much uh, messing around. I'm sure you really could kind of make this one building if you really wanted to, but that is not it for the entire set. There's actually a couple other builds that I really like, especially this police car. This is probably my favorite Lego police car that I've seen. It's very similar to the Simpsons police car we got uh, not too long ago, but uh, the color here is better and the build is, I think, just a little bit nicer as well. The interior is nice. I like that sort of dark orange color that you can see. And there's a lot of space. You could easily fit two minifigs on the inside. The trunk has space for holding a bunch of equipment. And um, yeah, I think Lego really, really did a good job making this police car. Probably one of the best ones that, uh, that they've ever made, maybe. Now there's actually another structure that belongs to Arkham Asylum, and this is the guard tower. It looks great from the front, and this is kind of just a bisection, so you can um, just turn it back the other way. And it's completely open. I like that they added a little basketball hoop at the bottom sort of making use out of uh, out of this little flat section that was a good idea and then uh, when you look a little bit higher up you can see some hidden TNT crates I have a feeling this is part of the escape plan now there's no destruction function here you can just kind of break the pieces apart yourself fortunately this tower is like super easy to take apart and put back together so uh, if you wanted to blow it up um, just on your own yeah you probably can't go wrong there there's a lot of sticker detailing showing lockdown and you can also see another Arkham Asylum name there. And then towards the top, that is a nice little build to show some loudspeakers. I think this is for the guards sort of yelling at the prisoners if they need to. And then there's an open back here, and that's where the guards would hang out if uh, they had rifles. I know the old Arkham Asylum sets, the guards actually did have like those old musket rifles, but because, you know, LEGO has changed up their policy a bit, uh, none of the minifigs get guns, at least not in these kinds of sets. But uh, anyways, that's, that's where they would be with their guns if they had them. Now the last couple of little builds are very, very simple. We've got a little uh, weight set. You know, this is where uh, the prisoners would have their sort of, uh, in the yard, they'd have some weights, and there's some free weights as well for any of the prisoners to, to lift if they want to. And then because uh, there is the cafeteria table in the back, this is where they would be eating. There's no studs for them to sit down there, but I think it works well enough. And with that, we just finished off the entire set. So here are my final thoughts. I think the set was very well built. I think the uh, exterior detailing for Arkham Asylum is really nice. There's some great use of some functions on the inside. There's no destruction functions or play functions, which I'm totally fine with being an older Lego builder. I don't really use a lot of those play features anyways, but I think ultimately we get a lot of nice parts. There's a lot of new pieces. Those watermelon pieces are exclusive. Tons of great minifigures, and the part to price ratio is very, very good. This is only like $30, $35 more than the uh, city police station, and it's about twice as many pieces, twice as many minifigs, and I think the pieces are better, and I think the minifigs Figs are 10 times better. Arkham Asylum is usually sort of like the flagship Lego set every time they uh, release it in a season, and uh, this version of it I don't think disappoints. Very happy to have this Arkham Asylum, and I'm really satisfied with the minifigs. Uh, I give this set like a A. I don't know. I don't grade things. It's an A. Okay, so that is it for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If uh, you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and I have left a link in the video description below if you want to buy the Arkham Asylum set. So anyways, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brickfall.